Greetings citizens. Hey you, how you doing today? Hopefully as good as I am because I'm having a very good day because I just got a package in the mail and now we're doing this video. As I'm sure you can see by the title and the thumbnail today, I'm going to be giving you my first impressions and my little mini review on the Raw Beauty Christie X ColourPop collection. I am so excited. So I was just sitting here doing some research for a new morbid makeup video, which if you just stumbled upon this channel because you love Christy, you should make sure to join the Brat Pack by subscribing and ringing the bell because I put out new videos every week. Typically it's a true crime and beauty video, but because I love Christy so much, I am uh, making a little exception and doing a actual makeup review, which I haven't done a makeup review in. You know, I'm pretty sure my last makeup review was the Raw Beauty Christy X Pure Collection. Am I a simp? Am I a simp for Raw, for raw Mommy Christy? My husband would say so. But anyways, yeah, subscribe if you're new or if you haven't yet, but I am ugh, so excited to bring this video to you. So let me, let me show you. I was doing some research when all of a sudden I got a little knock, knock, knock on my door and this was here. This had been delivered. So I was like, oh, all of my plans for today have officially changed and now we're going to film a video. So I haven't even opened it yet. I got my little knife. Let's uh, get into this, shall we? Just try not to show my address so I'm not murdered because, you know, murder is around every corner. All right, so ColourPop box, all the packaging. I got the entire collection, so let's just get into it. Um, I'm going to give some swatches. I'm going to do one look on one eye, one look on the other eye, give you, give you the whole roundup, let you know what I think. I'm sure I'm gonna like it, to be honest, because, okay, if you didn't see my review on the Pure Collection, uh, I didn't like it. Um, it wasn't for me. I loved the concept and I loved the idea and I think Christy did a great job on her end. I just didn't think the formulation was very tight. So I feel like I'm going to like this one because overall in general, ColourPop is a brand that like, we just, we just click, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of the box and then we're going to put some on the eye. So, okay. So just in case you've been living under a moss covered rock, what comes in this collection is first the At Forest Sight palette from, uh, ColourPop and Rob Beauty Christy. Four Super Shock Shadows, which is actually the product that first uh, introduced me to ColourPop and first made me fall in love with them as a brand. Three cream gel liners in colors that are just to die for. And two luxe glosses, which are one of my favorite items from ColourPop and one that I feel like is relatively underrated from their line. And I also grabbed a freckle pen, just um, unrelated to Christy because I like to darken those two freckles. So those are all the items in the Raw Mommy Christy X ColourPop collection. And I spent probably way too much for an unemployed person due to COVID-19. Just kidding. I spent a total of, it was $82 before tax, so still more than I should have spent, but you know, I just, I couldn't help myself. So let's go ahead and do some makeup, huh? Yes. So let's start with the palette. I'm so excited. The colors of this palette. Okay. I love uh, color. Okay. Such a general statement, but I do. I love colorful makeup, but I feel like the way Raw Beauty Christy did her palette is a way that makes color more approachable for the everyday bear. Hmm. Because they're just like, muted or navy tones or deep tones of all of like the most beautiful rainbow shades. So that's the palette and I'm ready to fuck it up. My heart is so broken right now. So I bought the, um, the full collection and they accidentally sent me two marigolds and they didn't send me the brown eyeliner. I'm so sad right now. Um, not much I can really do about that. So what I think I'll do is give one of these away to one of you guys. Um, go ahead and comment me your Instagram name down below. I'll put this back in a box and send you a little, little Christmas gift just because I have an extra one. But that's so disappointing. I was really excited about that brown because it's so pretty. But anyways, the name of these two are Marigold and Spare Time, spelled like the herb, which I think is cute. We have two Lux glosses, which I already said. We got Wildflower here and Glacier. I'm, Glacier looks so much prettier in person. I almost didn't get this one and um, I'm glad that I did. All right, and these are the four Super Shock Shadows right here. I'm really excited to use all of them. Uh, they are Mycelium, Olympic, Campfire, and Like a Moss, which Like a Moss is the one that I was really excited to get out of all of them, the one I'm most excited for, and one that I'm definitely gonna use today. So let me go ahead and throw a different eye look on each eye, and let's make sure that I'm correct in assuming that I'm going to love this collection. All right, so I'm gonna start with Old Growth on this eye, and then I'm gonna put Chanterelle on this eye to start. Ooh, already Old Grove is pretty. I like that. 
I'm feeling like so positive about this collection just because I know that I like ColourPop shadows and I feel like when the Pure collection came out I was super excited don't get me wrong I waited the millions of hours on the website because I wanted to support Christy but I didn't feel like that collection made as much sense to me as I feel like the ColourPop one does like I know she loves Pure she uses that freaking four-in-one love your selfie foundation uh, constantly but I just felt like this was a better fit I don't know maybe I'm biased because I like ColourPop so much because I do. My dream, since um, apparently manifesting is the way to go, would also be to collab with ColourPop. But I mean, that is not likely considering I has just a baby following, just, just a little baby following, which I mean, I'm fine with. I love each and every one of you. You are all so tight. But like, this, that's not like ColourPop collab numbers, you know what I'm saying? Both of these shadows are just beautiful. Like, oh my gosh. These are the kinds of tones that I live for. She killed it. And the whole um, making it, okay, my English stopped working. So Christy had said that when she was picking the shades for this collection, she wanted it to look like the Pacific Northwest, which I have been to Washington. I've been to Oregon. I love, love the Pacific Northwest. That's my dream is to live up there. Me and my husband uh, went to Portland for our honeymoon and we both absolutely love anywhere north of California. <laughs> um, so I think she did a great job. I think that this is beautiful and I think if you've never been there, you should go because it'll change your life. Okay, I'm now gonna deep up the outer V of each. I'm gonna use An Amanita on this little eye and then I'm gonna use Puffball on this eye. And I believe Amanita is a pressed pigment and not a shadow because they have a little star next to it. And if there's a star, it's not intended for use in the immediate eye area. So you know what I'm gonna do is put it directly on my immediate eye area. Wow, these tones are just so up my alley. I feel like I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but my lord, look at that. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm so excited about this collection. I haven't bought myself hardly any makeup because of, you know, the unemployed status of my life right now, but I'm really glad I didn't pass this one up because I, I almost did because I was like, man, I don't know when, you know, I'm gonna be working again, but live once, die. Um, with a sexy corpse. Is that is that the saying? Probably not. Now we're gonna go in with this beautiful shade of puffball. I think before I finish um, this video, maybe I should grab the Pure palette and see if any of the, uh, the shades are duplicates. Cause I do feel like the puffball sort of looks like maybe copper boxes and that marigold what is that yellowy shade in the pure palette i don't know but i'll just show you just in case you were curious because i would want to know if you know i would want to know if i was curious <sighs> Brittany, english is tough english is tough those blend together so nicely and if you were curious about fallout if you've ever had a color pop palette it has as much fallout as average color pop palettes i want to add some green to this guy and I don't wanna hear anyone talking about how I don't understand color theory, like all the comments that I got on my pure Rob Beauty Christie collection. I understand color theory, okay? Thank you very much. That sounded more confrontational than I meant for it to. I'm not being confrontational. So I'm going to take Fiddlehead right here and I'm gonna work that on this side very carefully because this green looks like it's got more yellow in it than blue because to make green it's blue and yellow right okay um and it looks like it's got more yellow than blue whereas emerald city has more blue than yellow and i feel like the yellow will work with the yellowy brown and the yellowy the yellowy other shade chanterelle so i'm gonna work that close oh, do you oh my sweet god that's such a pretty green are you kidding me chrissy chrissy does not hear me she does not know that i'm here there's a little bit of fallout, so I'm gonna clean off a brush and just like dust that off my cheek because I already did my base. Okay, I'm just gonna be a little more careful with that shade. I'm not surprised, it's green, so I'm gonna do it in like a wing type shape along the lash line. Oh, that's so pretty, my sweet God. All right, that's pretty good for now because I do wanna put on one of those super shocks on the lid. So actually, let's do that. Let's finish this one off real quick. And then, yes, so for this eye, shoot. Let me swatch all of the Super Shocks on my hand so I can decide which one I wanna use. Okay, so those are the shades right there and honestly, my God, they're beautiful. Like a moss is exactly what I wanted it to be and it's probably what's about to go on this eye right now. Um, and then we have Campfire, we have Mycelium, and we have, what was that other one called? 
Olympic. Olympic and Mycelium are pretty similar. I almost, like, okay, when I was first planning on getting this collection, I wasn't gonna get the whole thing. My husband's just an enabler, and he got me to get the whole thing. So um, I was only gonna get one of these because they are pretty similar, but Mycelium is a lot more glittery with, like, a more sheer base, and this has more of a base to it. So, like, you will get different vibes from it, but they are pretty similar in tone. Campfire, ooh, that's pretty. That's a pretty orange. That reminds me of... A super shock shade they used to have called Kathleen Lights actually but I'm pretty sure that's discontinued but like a moss was the one I was most excited for and like so excited I'm gonna put that on my eyeball right now and I'll probably use campfire on the lower lash line so we can use two of them I'm gonna use my finger because I feel like that's the best way and I'm also not trying to get anything too precise and then I'm going to press it onto the eyelid I can't even talk because this is just so stunning. Oh my lord. That's so beautiful. That is so stunning. It might be a little deep for some people for a lid shade, but for me, I love that. That is just gorgeous. Stop. Okay, so that eye is as beautiful as like warm yellowy green eyes get, in my opinion. I am thoroughly satisfied. So let's go ahead and do this eye. I'm gonna do the Super Shock Shadow first because I'm going to do something a little different for the wing on this eye. I want to use, I think I want to use PNW and I know that it's going to look good and since we're not blending and we're just doing a wing it will go together well. So let me go ahead and pick a shade for this eye. So for this one I'm going to go in with Olympic which out of the two that were similar this is the one that has more of a base shade. I'm going to use Mycelium for the inner corner highlight on both eyes I've decided to get use out of that as well. So let's pop this Oh, that's a super shock, Brittany. Let's pop that on the eye. Oh, okay. Come on. Christy. Raw mommy Christy. Do you see that? Do you see that? Um, this is so cute. It's so cute. So cute gonna bring it up a little bit into the crease which is how I like to roll because I have 32 year old eyes and like my eye skin folds because you know general oldness and oh, so cute I I really I really like that wow I would do that eye all the time I love pinks and purples on me I would do this oh, I'm so happy I bought this collection I'm gonna blend in the edges with a little more Amanita I'm gonna need a break after this because my heart's about to stop My jokes are um, amazing. Okay, so the wing. What I'm thinking is we're gonna take PNW, which is that beautiful navy blue. And I think that that's gonna look really nice. So we're gonna do that. Oh, mm-hmm, yep. That's what I wanted. Oh my Lord, that blue is honestly out of this world. Do you see how pigmented that is? stop and I like it with the pinks and the purples a lot these colors I don't know if would blend together well but for this purpose and I love to do a colorful eyeshadow wing that's typically how I do my wings because I'm useless with eyeliner you'll see in an upcoming morbid makeup video where like liner was the main um the main part of the look and the look is not good but man for colorful eyeshadow wing look at that get out of here Okay, so we have the tops done on these eyes, and honestly, like, look at that one, and look at that one. Which one is your favorite, first off? I, oh man, I don't know. They're both so beautiful. They're definitely different vibes, but um, I'm, I'm in love with both. So let's take off the tape together, because that's the, that is also the vibe. I'm too old to be saying vibe so much, but look at that. And now this side. Mmm. That's so satisfying. So let me go ahead and figure out what I'm going to do for the lower lash line. Well, first I'm going to just do this, which is how you fix that problem. Maybe there's a more um, techy way or, you know, more professional makeup artist way to do this, but I just wipe until it looks the same. So I'm realizing that I didn't really consider these eyeliners when I was doing the top eyes. I feel like this eye could go with either like this would have been really nice with the brown which we do not have so let me consider what will look best I feel like I got to do 
I don't know, let me think. Okay, so I feel like the only way that this can work is if I put marigold in this eye. So, and then, yeah, this will just be the smoky eye. I want yellow in both of them, but I know... Would you guys be mad if I did yellow in both of them? Just did a swatch of the, of the green. Oh, that green is so stunning. That's what the green looks like. I think I'm gonna save it, I'm so sorry. But if, you, if one's good, both are good. I just really wanna use yellow in both eyes. But that is the green, and again, that's spare time. If I had the brown, that's what I'd be using here, but I didn't get woodsy in my package. So, so I'm gonna start on this eye with a shade that we actually haven't used yet, and it's gonna be Rainier. Like Mount Rainier, the big ol' mountain. Just trying to use as many shades as humanly possible for you. So we're gonna run that real close to the lash line. And it's honestly so beautiful already. Oh, that's so pretty. To deepen that up, I'm gonna hit a little bit of homegrown and just do that on the outer corner. Just right there, just cause, you know, depth. I'm going to take a little more chanterelle and just kinda do all of it, and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do something. A little chanterelle just for uh why did I do my that's my southern voice. I was born in Missouri, um, FYI. And sometimes I pull out my southern voice, and that was a preview of that. Okay, and now for some absolute jazziness, we're gonna take a little bit of campfire here. And we're just gonna put a little bit of that on, on, on the lower lash line. Careful with this shade. I don't know if they're all this soft, but this one is insanely soft, which I, I like, I just wasn't ready for. And I'm gonna put that on the inner lower lash line just for, you know, that little twinkle. Just for that little twinkle. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I switched to my finger for effectiveness and oh, a little sparkle down there. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do any of you guys watch that Barely an Inconvenience guy? It's nothing to do with my channel or my genre in any way, but he's very funny. He, uh, uh, anyway, that is so pretty. So let's figure out what I want to do on this side, shall we? All right, we're going to use an um, Amanita right across everything because this shade is so stunning. Like, it's honestly such a beautiful pinky purple. I, I live for this. I live, I live. Too old to say things like this. All right, we're gonna deepen up the outer corner with the sparkly black in the palette, which is Let It Rain. Let's hope it doesn't rain black eyeshadow onto my cheeks, huh? Just using such a small amount that I think it would be fine. Yeah, that's fine, that's pretty. And now let's soften the whole thing up with a little bit of old growth, just like so. Mm, that is so pretty. Oh. Little Olympic, the shade that we have on the top to match the uh, inner corner sparkle vibe, but just we're gonna tap it because this is pretty light and I don't want there to be too much pigment. There we go, just like that. Oh my lord. I love this makeup. <laughs> Alon, it's so pretty. I feel like I wish that I had Emerald City on here somewhere, but I mean, I've done what I can. I've used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine out of 12 shades, so. Pretty good, and I'm now gonna be using all of the Super Shock shades, because I'm going to take Mycelium and I'm gonna pop that on the inner corner. I feel like this video's a mess, um, because I've been, okay, do you ever get makeup? This would be a very specific question to people who do YouTube, but do you ever get to the makeup and then get so excited by the makeup that you forget you're doing a video, and then you just kinda play with makeup the way you would if you were not filming a video? Because that is what's happening right now, and I'm so sorry. Ooh, bitch. Are you kidding me? Do you see that? That is so pretty. Ugh. Wish I was going somewhere and that the world wasn't in a pandemic right now because that would be really great for a lot of reasons um, and not for my selfish first world. I would like to take this pretty makeup outside reasons, but you know what I mean. That's stunning. Okay, let me throw on some mascara and then we will do, oh wait. Eyeliner, you crazy bitch. Put a little marigold in the waterline, huh? Oh my lord, that is so pigmented. Whew. That is pigmented. Do you see that? I think that the yellow is gonna look um, interesting in this side, but you know what? We're doing it. Yeah, that's, um, it's fine. I don't know if it's the, the look, but you know what? It's the look that uh, we're gonna go with. So let me throw on some mascara and then line my lips and we'll come back and try the glosses. So just a second. Okay guys, so we are back in these eyes are so pretty like uh the more i'm looking at the yellow with the purple and the blue the more i'm liking it this eye is just like perfect cohesion everything went together so perfectly it's just like 
so good. I can't get over it. I feel so cute. So I lined my lips with a little uh, B. A little, a little, a little, a little, uh, uh, uh. I lined my lips with a little bit of ColourPop BFF lip liner. And now we're gonna go in with the lip glosses. I'm gonna go in with Wildflower first because I feel like I'm gonna wanna wear Glacier, but I might be wrong. So let's try Wildflower. Oh, I love these glosses. Okay, so this is Wildflower. Oh, they smell so good. Barely any pigment, but you can see because I didn't put any lip liner on my lip that what's on my actual bulk of my lips is just the gloss and then I have lip liner on the outside. A little cool tone, not so pigmented that somebody with a deeper skin tone would look kind of washed out with it. It's pretty light. It's very pretty. It's nice. These are like, if you've never tried these type of glosses, they're a little more creamy. Okay. It's like when you make tomato soup. <laughs> I'm gonna, okay, that's a weird way to put it, but it's like when you make tomato soup and you know how sometimes people will make it with water? and it comes out a little bit on the thinner side, and then sometimes I make it with milk the right way, and it comes out like a thick, creamy bitch. This is tomato soup with milk. And that is the shade Wildflower for you. So now let's wipe it off and do Glacier. This would look really good with this eye, but I feel like the clear is gonna go with both. Whew, okay. All right, now we're gonna go in with Glacier, which is like the clearish, it's like clear, but almost warm and filled with sparkles, and I'm into it, so we're gonna do that next. Ugh. Wow, that is so pretty. And I got my little stick dirty and I'm sure that's gonna bother someone. Also, that's what he said. I'm gonna wipe it on a paper towel before putting it back, okay? Now it's just gonna get filled with little paper towel fibers, no big deal. Okay guys, so this is the completed look that I created with the Raw Mommy Christie X ColourPop collection. What do you think? I love it. Which eye do you like best? I like them both for different reasons. I don't know if I can choose a favorite because, man, they both look so good. Okay, what I'm going to do now is give you some comparison swatches of the At Forest Sight palette with some shades that might be kind of comparable in the Pure X Raw Beauty Christie palette, and then I'm going to give you swatches of the whole collection, and then I'm going to say goodbye to you and hope that you will join me in a future video by joining the Brat Pack and subscribing and ringing that bell. Thank you. Now, let me go ahead and give you those comparisons. So here is the Raw Beauty Christie X Pure palette, and here is at Forest Sight, packaging-wise, obviously. Very different. This one is more personalized to Christie, in my opinion. I mean, I don't know her, but then again, no, because this is all her hand drawings, too. So here's the cool thing about this palette is it's double-sided. First, you open this side, and you get a neutral dream, and then you flip it, you open this side, and you get the party. Business in the front, party in the back, okay? You've seen this one. Let me go ahead and look and see if there's any similar swatches and I'll put them side by side for you. Okay, the first similar shade we have is Camelot and Santorelle. This is Camelot from the Pure X Raw Beauty Christie palette. And this is Chanterelle from the At Forest Sight palette. The di they are similar, but I feel like this one has a smidge more brown in it and this one has a little more orangey yellow. And um, I feel like the ColourPop one's just better. Just in general, I feel like the ColourPop palette is better for clarity if I didn't make that abundantly clear. Okay, next for similar shades, we have Copper Boxes. This is from the Raw Beauty Christy X Pure Palette. And then we have Puffball, which is from the At Forest Sight Palette. They are pretty similar. This one has a little more orangey warmth, and this one I feel like is a little more yellow. And those are actually the only two that I feel like are similar enough to even put side by side. Old Growth is kind of similar to Moo Point and then sort of similar to My Whole Heart, but it is different. It's kind of like the in-between shade in, in uh, depth and also in tone. Um, so I don't feel like it's comparable. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just those two shades. So um, if you already have this, I still think you could benefit from this because there is enough unique shades in the palette. So now I'm gonna quickly insert some swatches for you and then I'm gonna say my goodbye. So uh, just a second. So those are the shades right there. I'm sorry if it's out of focus, but from top to bottom or from one side to the other, it is Puffball, Chanterelle, Rainer, Old Growth, Evergreen, West Coast, Homegrown, Amanita, Fiddlehead, Emerald City, PNW, and Let It Rain. Okay, for the Super Shocks, we have Olympic, Campfire, Lyca Moss and Mycelium. And then last for our cream gel liners, we have Marigold and Spare Time. Keeping in mind that Spare Time did break on me while swatching it. Thank you so much. So those were the swatches and I hope that they were, you know, something. I have trouble filming swatches on this camera because my auto zoom sucks. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That completes this video. Please 
don't forget to join the giveaway. It's just for a little eyeliner since, you know, I got the mess up in my box. Make sure to leave me a comment down below to be entered with either your Instagram name or if you do not have Instagram, because I know not everybody does, your email just so I can reach you. I will put all the information down below on who can enter, who can win, how to do it, all that jazz, how long it's going to run will be in the description box. So check down there um, because I can only do the US. I'm so sorry. I know I have friends that are out of the US. I just can't afford to ship there, man. I have... I'm unemployed. I don't know what to tell you. With that said, that completes this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it gave you everything you wanted when uh, searching for a review or if you just like me. I hope that you enjoyed the video and that was a little uh, fun for you. Sorry, I forgot that I was filming for a second and just got so into the makeup. I just really, really like this collection and I'm really proud of Chrissy. That bitch is thriving in 2020. 2020 took all the good luck from every other human on the planet and was just like, Christy, Christy, Christy. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm glad she's doing well. I'm excited that she's going to have a baby in, like, a second. And uh, you should get this collection if it's still available. I have no idea if it is. ColourPop likes to not stock things and then um, run out. So please make sure to join the Brat Pack by subscribing and ringing the bell. I put out new videos every week. They're typically true crime related. So if that is your thing, which a lot of people like it, uh, you should make sure to hang out because it's a good time. And with that said, that's it. Thanks for being here when you could be literally anywhere else in the world. This is tight, you are tight, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.